What's up guys, Triple Ace Tech, Heath on the board. She's back here with another video real quick, talking about my thoughts on this week's past Monday Night Raw and SmackDown, the new live shows. Who won this week for me was Monday Night Raw with the Fatal 4-Way, two Fatal 4-Way matches, the number one contendership. And also the Women's Championship match. Yeah. And the main event, eventually, with Finn Balor and Roman Reigns with Finn Balor beating Roman Reigns cleanly. Imagine that. Uh, I think Roman Reigns is, is eating his shit from his suspension. And uh, that's basically, he lost the main event at Battleground, and he lost, took the pin to Finn Balor, the new guy from NXT on Monday Night Raw. Now, the Dolph Ziggler on Friday Night SmackDown, eh, I'm okay with it. It's not my favorite thing. I would have rather seen Bray Wyatt, but that's just me. A lot of people love that Dolph Ziggler won and think it's great that he's getting another shot. That's great. But I thought this was the new era. But, um, yeah, so my thoughts. Monday Night Raw won this, um, this week. Um, like I said, Dolph Ziggler. Not a bad choice. So it's Dolph Ziggler and, uh, Dean Ambrose for the WWE Championship at SummerSlam. Um, and Finn Balor versus, um, Seth Rollins for the Universal Championship. Um, I'm mixed on the name. Um, we'll see when the bell comes out, see my overall. I'll wait to give my full opinion on the Universal Championship when I see the belt in, in action. So, uh, yeah. Um, that's basically um, WWE make a new star in Finn Balor. Awesome. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. The Women's Championship match, loved it. If it wasn't for 2 a.m., I would have marked the hell, the hell out. I was watching at 2 a.m. and people were sleeping in my house, so I toned it down. I went from probably like I joked with somebody on Twitter. I said if it, if it was watching it live with my dad, I probably would have been a 10, maybe a 100. Um, but since it was 2 a.m. when I was watching, it was about a 5. But I was marking out to 100 and, or 10, whatever. What do you want to say? The highest inside. Um, so glad for Sasha. Great to see. I would have rather seen it live in person at SummerSlam, but I can understand. So we're probably going to get a rematch for the Women's Championship. Um, number two, I've been listening to a podcast around my area, and they've been talking about maybe having two tag team titles. Um, I don't mind the world titles. Um, tag titles, you can make a second title, but I do not want a second Women's Championship. Um, I think the Women's Championship needs to be prestigious um, to both brands. Um, I think that going forward, I don't want to see another belt. Um, like they joked on this podcast, are they going to bring back the Divas Championship? No. Um, so, yeah. So, basically, that's my thoughts on the week. That is the first week of the new era. Um, we'll see where Bray Wyatt goes. We'll see where AJ goes. Probably with Cena at SummerSlam, I would assume. Um, Bray Wyatt, I'm not sure where he goes from here. Um, I have no idea. I'm trying to think. Um, got Orton versus Brock. Um, three matches announced so far for SummerSlam. Um, Bray Wyatt, who does he face? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know, maybe he faces freaking Heath Slater, I don't know. I don't know if I want to see that feud though, but I see them trying to push Heath Slater, why didn't they just draft him? They seem to be picking him as like the, you know, the guy who didn't get drafted and feels like he got the unfair opportunity in this draft. And, uh, you know, I don't know. Um, maybe they turn it into some kind of uh, Heath Slater mentioned they were in the Nexus. Uh, Bray Wyatt was Husky Harris in the Nexus. Maybe that's where they go from here. Um, be interesting to see. So we'll see where they go on Friday Night SmackDown. Um, anything else on Monday Night? Oh, the one thing I did not like was Rusev taking the pin. I don't think Rusev needed to be in that match. I understand they want to make something of him. But they could have put somebody in there that didn't need the win, but has been a world champion. I hate to say it, but they could have put, like, Kane in there and uh, had him, you know, 
take the pin. Somebody, somebody, somebody could have took that pin other than Rusev. Uh, not Rusev, sorry. Um, he took it. That was on Raw. What am I talking about? Um, sorry, totally botched that. Um, I was on Raw. Um, yeah, so. Who the hell? 